This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the SafeGo, a product the company calls, quote, the ultimate portable safe. Now, if you're guessing that I'm skeptical of that moniker, you would be correct. What we have is an ABS plastic box fitted with a cheap lock and a strap with an embedded steel cable for securing this to an anchor point. Interestingly, the company warns this is, quote, solely intended for the storage of items which are in your possession and control. The Safeco container is not intended for, nor should be used for, the storage of items you do not intend to maintain in your possession and control. I take that to mean as long as I'm holding on to this box, the stuff inside is safe. If I let go of it, all bets are off. That's not particularly encouraging. The company continues, the Safeco container provides a great deal of security when properly used. So, if I'm holding on to it, it provides a great deal of security. However, under the right circumstances, with the right tools, and allowing an adequate amount of time, any security container can be violated. Well, we're going to take a look at the time, tools, and circumstances required to violate the Safeco. We're going to start with a tool that you've seen several times on this channel, a little sliver of Red Bull can. But before we test it, we need to change the combination to something I don't already know. So let's put this into change mode, and while those wheels are facing away from me, give them a good scramble. Okay, let's make sure they're not between positions. Put it back to operating mode close the door, and scramble those wheels one last time. Okay, I now have a safe go to which I do not know the combination. I'm going to take this thin shim of Red Bull can and slip it in between the body of the safe and the code wheel. I'm then going to turn the wheel until I feel a flat spot on the internal portion. There we go. Let's move on to the next one, do the same thing. and the final wheel. Okay, I now have all of these wheels aligned with each other, but they're not aligned with the mechanism. So we have to move each one, one, two, three clicks. And that is the combination, four, seven, four. Okay, folks, while this is billed as, quote, the ultimate portable safe, Defeating its mechanism is not terribly difficult, and the only tool you need is a little piece of aluminum can. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.